Hey y'all, I am back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back right quick to tell y'all. I'm telling y'all things, when I say it, it's really starting to manifest and show itself into reality. Real talk. I got some stuff on my post. But, um, I just read on an article, right? And I wasn't going to make no video, but I was like, man, F that, because something about the, something about it just don't sound right to me. I'm just going to be honest. Uh... I think he's 18 years old, allegedly sold an 11-year-old girl in Sarasota, Florida, some LSD and some marijuana edibles. And they said they was able to allegedly trace that he was there by the, ta the cellular phone towers. But I don't believe that. What I believe happened, how they do them uh, pedos things, and they had you thinking that, you know what I'm saying? So y'all people be careful. That's why I said what I said. And it's crazy. In which I should have made the video anyhow. His name is Gabriel, who sold it allegedly to uh eleven year old girls. So I'm gonna tell y'all what they're trying to do. They're trying to push us back, but we ain't going nowhere. They trying to demonize something that they have no control over. They have no control over. They ain't got no control over what's about to happen. Move your old thinking tail out of the way. Might as well move. Something bigger is already happening. I just read today for everything we walk on. Mycelium, fungus. Everywhere you look is fungus. We are a part of it. You can't get rid of that. If you get rid of the fungi, you get rid of the human. Yeah, so I wasn't going to post, I wasn't going to even make no video because I just got through making a video, you know what I'm saying, about Abby Shore, Abby Shore is in the coma, somebody rescue him. I'm serious, they might be trying to allegedly knock Mr. Shore off, killing him softly, killing him softly. I'm being honest, it's not no joking matter. It's a spiritual war going on and everybody paying attention to this material, physical stuff and it ain't even about that, what's going on and I can't say it enough. I, I'm, you know, I can't. And like I said in another video, I'm not here to wake nobody up. No, I can't do that. I'm here for myself. Call it selfish, call it what you want to call it self. Uh, gratification is the best. Okay? And then I was reading about when the girls wrote about the low coast, talking about the, the, the God wanted to devour the land, and she all happy about bowing down. Because when, when, when the Bible say be humble, hum, be humble means to do this, to get on your damn knees and bow down and let that person stand over you. That's what that means. Boy, they're trying to kill them softly and killing him softly. Oh, today is also Sting Your Ass Up Monday. Ew. Stand Up Monday. Yes, he sent me the article, but I'm being honest. I was not going to post the article. I wasn't going to even mention about this man. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been a lot of weird stuff going on. Very weird. And it takes our focus off what's really going on. I mean, the simple things that's going on, these things have been going on. But the bigger things that's going on seem like, you know, I see a commercial with a lot of goats. I wish I could turn it around, but I'm doing my video. It's showing me how humans are acting right now, symbolically. But everybody ain't no human. And you know, I wanted to say this. I be watching Big Six South Florida accountability videos, and what they can't see is what I see. They see these people as policemen, but I see them as reptilian. I can see them shape-shifting. People don't believe these people are real. They are so real. They very real. And they work in the high places. They don't, they don't work. No, they no, they want your energy. They work where they could get some of your energy. At. I'm telling you, and I be wanting to tell them so bad. I be wanting to tell them people on their channel so bad. Y'all working with a high power y'all just can't see. Y'all ready? Don't came and took over Kimmy. Oh yeah. That's the that's the, that's what I want to talk about. They already came in. That's why Marduk left. The reptilians ran his ass out. They ain't telling y'all that. They got people thinking Marduk's still running this show. Marduk ain't running shit. He ain't running nothing. Show been over for him. And I knew I read 
and a couple of books about how they left, how some left and came back, and it never dawned on me, okay, why they left? Why they left? Reptilians ran them out. The draconians who, who had it on their emblem, right now to this day, and they keep it all in the bloodline. I don't want to be part of that, even though we do have, well, hey, you Bali is half blind and half, uh, half snake. A snake is reptilian. And it's sad because now that I think about what Sophia did, she got rid of her own child. He mad. This is hell. If anybody ever wondered what is hell, this is all the chaos at. Man, I'll be sure. And then the LSD. I'm telling you, leave I'll be sure alone. My unibrow, Anunnaki. Leave him alone. I rescue you with this pose. Rescue me. Do you wanna? 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 Do you wanna, wanna Excuse me. Put the word out there to put out some positive healing energy for Mr. Albert. I think that's his name and his son. But I got that on the other video, and I was in total darkness. You know, sometimes I realize even with the way you make videos, people be following other people. Real talk. I, I have yet to see somebody that's really make a video with total, total darkness and continue doing it. You know why? Because we see other people doing this and doing this, so we decide to do it too. I have yet to see the channel. I'm being honest, except for the law of one, when they reading about the law of one, but I'm talking about a channel with somebody talking in all black. You never see them. Because people want more, they want in the morning, one more, more, and one more, and one more. So they can't get enough. Humans don't give up, boy. We are like a cesspool. I was going to even make the video about the Elliot. Because I, you know, I'm going to be honest. Something tells me they're trying to do all they can. You know, this, okay, allegedly, this stuff happened in July. August. September, October, you might as well say November, November, come on now, and I'm going to be honest, that's why I voted for my deputy sheriff, Tony Gregory, when I heard he took that tab, he was on my team, he was, hey, he, he was a friend of mine, oh, before I leave, I, boy, I'm telling you, things been working in my favor, I don't know, I want somebody to let me know. Y'all know everything I talk about, I gotta include psychedelics in it because psychedelics are fifty percent human DNA psychedelics. I mean not psychedelics, but the the uh mycelium is not a plant. The 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 fungi is not a plant. People been calling it a plant for years, but it's not a plant. It's it's, it's us and we let it. But before I forget, have anybody ever taken a jail LSD Lucy tab? I you know, somebody called me yesterday. See, I got to connect for that. I'm telling you, once you go in that, once you get in that door, I don't give a damn where you go. Somebody going to, it's like they network through your pores. They network. But anyhow, he was like, he was like, uh, I got some good stuff. He, he, now, I, I want people to answer this truthfully for me because I express my own. But now he was like the five MBO for a vape, a vape pen gonna be like two fifty. I'm like, what? So I want somebody to let me know if you look at this video and if you have ever brought a five MBO, not a regular DMT. I'm gonna have to ask him again. Five MBO vape pen. I want to know and how much, how much you pay? Cause you ain't finna get me. I never, I have a vape, but it's not with that in it. It got cannabis. And I gotta get the other part to it. I sure do. I got a, I got a cannabis. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a cannabis though. Right there. You got that from night and day. Shout out to the night and day. Go get your CBD from night and day. But they told me before I leave. Damn, I'm gonna have to, cause they been calling. I'm gonna have to call them. They were like, they got some jail tablets. 
He was like, nah, I don't know, because this my boy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to say his name. But I wanted to see subscribe to my channel. When I talk to him, like, you better subscribe to my channel. But anyhow, he was like, he got some jail tabs. Ooh. Now, he was, see, I don't like getting myself hyped up. You know, expectations, throw them out the door for me. I'm serious. I had expectations to do something this weekend. I kept bragging over and over and over and over and over and nothing didn't happen. They were like, you brag too much. It's probably why grandma say don't let your left hand know what your right hand is thinking. Now think about it. Each hand do move individually. I mean, the human is material. We are. Ooh, boy. But I really, really feel bad that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Only because of the respect. You get what I'm saying? That I have. I mean, I, I, I don't hide nothing that I do. But I also have that line where I draw that respect. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that I just don't do around certain people. Facts. But, ah. Uh, ooh. <sighs> they trying to get us. But they can't. Like I said, I voted for the deputy. The sheriff, Gregory Tony, I ain't lying. They found out he took LSD when he was a teenager. He, look what he came to be. Look what this man, look what LSD, look what LSD took him to higher learning. <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Ooh, higher learning of development. Shoot. That's where it took him. Higher learning of his development. And, and, I, and then they're going to try to go in his private life with him and his wife. You know, having a little swing or parties. It's none of our business. It's nobody's business what somebody do. And it's not bothering nobody. Ain't breaking no nothing behind closed doors. And a lot of times, what well, is a lot of something that man made. Because on certain planets, what we think and we take serious, I honestly know they ain't even on that day. Look at how small those humans are. Look at them. It could be an uh, extraterrestrial in my right now that's laughing like see she but everybody oh she crazy, she crazy that's why they fill them up with all them pills i got a picture where they tried to get me yeah well then i'd be codependent upon those pills but who put them in my body mm, you ain't gonna get you no sucker punch right here no but y'all you know what i'm saying you know, you got to keep some positive energy out because, boy, this what this is. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. And, and, and back to Big Nick South Florida Accountability Channel. I could look at these people and see the, 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 the reptilian coming out of them. How the hell can people see what I see? I don't know. And I'm nearsighted. I'm nearsighted. I wear glasses. But I could see that spiritual, that, that spiritual energy sitting up in the avatars. I don't see how people can't see it. And they were talking about a CEO or something like that. Man, let me tell y'all something. I saw a CEO whoop a girl ass. Whooped her so bad, whooped out of her panties to her thong was where her vagina part go. The woman spit through the door. This one, I was facing 30 years in prison. That woman spit through that door and... The lady, the CEO, she moved. It was like, you know how you, you know how a gator looks, small little gate, like balls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it make sense. Before I leave, how it looks. If I could find something, it's brought to demonstrate. This is how that window looks. I'm gonna show y'all that quick. So y'all can see. Look just like that. It looked just like that. They had gone, that lady had gone spit through that thing. And when she spit through that thing, that CEO, that CEO, whatever the fuck you call him, she realized, she realized 
what that lady had did. Right? I'm gonna tell you what they did to us, because we was in the we was in the felony part of the jail. Okay? We was in the felony part. Okay? I'll tell you what they did, man. You know what they did to us? They shackled our ass up. No, I'm on the shot. Like a link. They took us all the way, all the way, all the way to the back where nobody had been in sales for years. And I promise. We heard, oh, oh, I know what I heard, oh, oh. And I went to school with one of the girls, right? And when we went back in that room, they had no book, man, that lady had a big ass black eye. They had them whoop her, and I'm gonna tell you what I, I know they did. After they took us out the room, they put on gloves. All of them be in cahoots. I remember one time, the girl I knew, her boyfriend beat up and put a hair party. I'm just telling y'all how crooked things are. Her girlfriend beat her up. I mean, her boyfriend beat her up. Her sister is a police officer of Miami Dade County, not the city of Miami, Miami Dade County. All her and her Eastern Star homegirls got together. Even though my, at the time homegirl, she was, she was, you know what I'm saying? Man, they added all kind of charges on them. They were like, oh, girl, you know I got you. I'm listening to these people. I'm seeing them write up fake charges on this man. And, and evidently my homegirl, because she, she on that D'Angelo, and she loved, like, she kind of remind me of uh, Lauren Hill. She She's on that vibe. You know what I'm saying? But her grandma, I mean her mama is a whole witness. When she figured out what her sisters was gonna do to her boyfriend, she went and dropped everything and they were mad at her. But they added stuff on. I honestly believe they went in though, she probably would. Then I've been sexually assaulted by the police. This is real. If I thought I could sue them and get that money, I would. I don't been accused when I had my sailor phone in my hand, up here in Fort Lauderdale, I'm talking on my phone, put it down, and he knew it was a phone. He knew it was a phone. You got a gun, right by the graveyard. So not to cause no pressure, I put it down. But that's why if you have a car, and if it's legal for you to smoke cannabis, marijuana in your state, do it. You know what I'm saying? Get you some cameras, bro. Fuck all that shit, it could save your life. I'm talking about when you on that road, Put them cameras around your car, bro. I'm being honest. If I had a car, I ain't got no car. So it don't apply to me. I haven't drove a car in a long time simply because I don't have a, the energy for a car. When I, when, I'm going to tell you something. My children will tell you. Every time I wanted a car, I got one. Didn't nothing stop me from getting one but me. I'm not ready to get on that road. These people out here sick, man. I'm trying to leave America. If anybody want to know the truth, I'm trying to get out of this cis pool. Bab Babylon, everywhere is Babylon. Everybody, you know, it's just a vibe. It's just a certain vibe about America that ain't hitting everywhere else. This vibe over here, cricket. That's why I said, if Nature Boy really cared about them people, why he never took them to the motherland? He took their ass everywhere except for where they should have went first. I'm out of here. Peace.